watching Play Replay with Async. On this video, I'm going to be talking about the recent news that there's going to be a Transformers animated movie coming out on Netflix that's going to probably tie into the movie universe from like the Bumblebee and stuff like that movies. Um, it's animated. I don't know if it's CGI animation or cartoonish like animated like that. I'm not sure. But what we do know is that it takes place on Cybertron and we're going to be dealing with Optimus Prime and Megatron in their history. So we're probably going to get the story about how Prime became Optimus Prime from Orion Pax to Optimus Prime because that's who he was before. And hopefully we'll get Alpha Trion who was basically a father figure for Optimus Prime and well when he was Alpha Trion and turned and actually worked on him and made him into Optimus Prime after he was badly damaged. Now we're also going to be getting a story in that movie of Megatron and how he became Megatron. That's the way it sounds anyway. Um, God only knows how they're going to do this and how it's going to turn out. Um, it's going to be directed by Josh Cooley who is the director of Toy Story 4 I guess. So he's worked with CGI animation before so maybe this will be CGI animation. I don't know. But hopefully we get an Optimus Prime that actually is similar to the G1 Optimus Prime and not some Optimus Prime that doesn't look like he did in the Bumblebee movie I guess. Uh, he needs to look like Optimus Prime and not just be some boring like uh, pre-mold of Optimus Prime that's kind of a skeleton figure. Because if you look at the Bayverse and the Bumblebee movie on the Cybertron sequences, you'll notice there is a big difference. And if they're going to go by the new version, which is the Bumblebee universe or the Bumblebee movie, which they showcase Cybertron on that, then that, that Optimus Prime is perfect. And... Uh, we're going to be dealing with the story of Optimus Prime and Megatron when they were friends before they became enemies. And I guess it'll kind of build up and you'll see how they became enemies in the story, I, I suppose. Because we have to have a story that's interesting because if they're just friends to the whole story, that wouldn't be very interesting. So, uh, yeah, this kind of sounds cool, but I'm not going to get my hopes up because these movies have just not been what I've wanted a Transformers movie to be ever. They have horrible designs. And it's just not something that I'm into. So hopefully this will be something good. But judging by the Netflix animated uh, series. They had a couple of them. And they were not that great. There was like Transformers Siege. or Tr Transformers War for Cybertron Siege. And then there was Earthrise. And then there was Kingdom or whatever. And they had toys to go along with them, but those were just not very entertaining. They were very boring. They just were not, they didn't capture the Transformers the way that they should have. The Transformers weren't transforming enough. They weren't actually showing emotions enough. There wasn't enough character development. It just kind of was all over the place. Uh, their vehicle forms were not Cybertron, Cybertronian enough. They didn't actually look like Cybertronian vehicles. They looked more like Earth vehicles. Uh, it was just a lot of issues that they had they did with this thing um, I don't even know if Bumblebee actually transformed in that show in that series So if it's anything like that and that was a Netflix show if it's anything like that I am worried about this But um, I have a feeling that the movie studios are the ones that are doing this so They're gonna probably try to stick to that sequence what we've seen on the Bumblebee movie on the Cybertron on that so I just figured I'd talk about that a little bit because that's something that I'm interested in. It's going to be a prequel, so I imagine it's going to be tied into the, like the movies and stuff for sure. So I'd like to see how they're going to do this. And I want to see if the vehicles that they transform into look Cybertronian enough. Um, I really don't want them to transform into something that looks like a semi-truck on Cybertron. And like Megatron's story, I wonder if he's going to be like a um, like a gladiator or like a miner or something like that. Because I believe that I believe, if I remember correctly, what the comics made up for their history 
was Megatron was like a mining guy or whatever and he basically became a gladiator or something and he became their leader the, the leader of the Decepticons eventually obviously and then you get to see Optimus Prime who was Orion Pax um, I'm not sure how they're gonna what he's going to be as his little job on Cybertron because they change that from time to time it seems like and they change whatever he was so I don't know but as long as he's Orion Pax and he doesn't look exactly like Optimus Prime immediately when you first meet him as Orion Pax, I think that'll be cool. And I would like to see Megatron um, in a form that doesn't look scary right away. Because, <laughs> I mean, if Megatron and Optimus Prime were friends, you would imagine that Megatron didn't have sharp teeth or something like that and spikes everywhere and just talk like he wants to kill you, you know, like that. So... I would imagine that Megatron would have a face that is not like shredded metal pieces and that he would actually look similar to what Optimus Prime does, I guess. I'm not a fan of Optimus Prime having a mouth either. So, I cuz he has that face plate and when I was a kid, we never seen a Prime without a face plate and then nowadays they want to keep on giving him they keep wanting to give him a mouth. I'm not a fan of that. So hopefully we'll get an Optimus Prime that has like the mouth cover or whatever all the time. Hopefully when him and Megatron get into it and Megatron basically hurts him and damages him so bad. Because that's what happened. Is Megatron damaged him so badly that he was just kind of left there. And of course um, Ariel, his girlfriend, which is basically a, a female Transformer, which would be nice to see in the movie as well. Well, basically, she I think it was her that dragged him back to Alpha Trion, who was like a father figure, and he's like a scientist that, you know, fixed things. Um, he basically would be the one who rebuilds Orion Pax into Optimus Prime. And I would like to see Orion Pax having a mouth, and then after the battle and everything, and when he turns into Optimus Prime, have him have that face cover or whatever or mouth cover or whatever that would be cool because then that would stay true to the original story of how Orion Pax became Optimus Prime and it would hold true to the G1 original Optimus Prime the classic version of what you know of Optimus Prime not all these other versions I realize on the internet nowadays you cannot say anything negative about like a fandom like transformers the movies or anything like that because if you say anything negative everybody hates you and has a problem with you and they want to go off on you in the comments and tell you all these bad things about you know how they disagree with you and how oh they did it this way over here so that means they could do it this way over here it's like yes i understand that but if you're going to hold to the classic story you're not going to tell it in a different you're going to have you're not going to have like um Optimus Prime is all blue and then we turns into Optimus or uh, Alpha Trion. Let's say uh, Alpha Trion. Let's say he's all blue instead of red and blue like Optimus Prime. Then this but then when he transforms into Optimus Prime, then he's all yellow. No, you're not going to do that. And yet they do that with a lot of Transformers. They change the tra the colors once they get them in the movies. They go from being a white character to being all silver or like a um a blue character he's all silver or something like that and that drives me nuts because you're not you wouldn't do that with captain america you wouldn't do that with iron man even though iron man has all these other suits he still kept the gold and the red for the most part right you're not going to do that to spider-man now he's got a black suit yes but there's not a lot of original in the original spider-man anyway i know they're making it up as they go now but in the original Spider-Man, there was just a black suit and the Spider-Man. In the beginning, when they first changed it, it was just a black suit that that was the extra thing. Okay, so you're not going to change it all up. You're not going to make Batman bright green, okay? You're, just, you're not going to change these main characters how you know them. So I understand a lot of people are just celebrating every time they make a character in a Transformers movie that looks so different from how he looked. Even in the movie previous, like Wheeljack in the Rise of the Beast movie, Wheeljack now in the Rise of the Beast movie looks totally different from the Bumblebee movie version. And that doesn't make any sense. So I just, I'm just all about sticking to 
let's go with the original first before we go off and make another series where it's all different. I just say, let's make a original classic version first as the foundation. And then later on, you can have your neon colored, uh, your pink Optimus Prime and your, your blue Bumblebee, whatever you want. Okay. But let's just stick to the first version of them first because we've never seen this Cybertron version of Optimus Prime um, in really a lot of stuff other than the Bumblebee movie. And the Megatron from the uh, Cybertron, we've never really seen other than the Bayverse, which that was a bunch of broken metal and shredded pieces. So I'm just saying, let's just hold to something that's consistent and not be changing colors so much when they get to Earth and changing everything thing up. You want the character to be recognizable. I understand they want to change the character a little bit to sell toys. That's fine. But don't change it to where the character is silver instead of yellow or blue or whatever. And all, you know, boring colors. Like, uh, even the Trent, even the um, Rise of the Beast Primal, Optimus Primal, he's just like basically black. Now, the original Optimus Primal, I have him on my shelf. He's literally got some white in his arms here, white in his upper thighs. He's got like red on his arm here. He's got some blue in his chest. He's got colors. He's got like a white, uh, it's like got like a white uh, face cover with a mouth, which is fine. That actually looks cool for him, okay? Because that's a different Prime. That's not Optimus Prime. So, but in the movie, he's just all black. He's just, let's just do it all black. It's boring. Doesn't look special to me, but okay. You guys can like that. That's fine. I'm not going to see it. I won't give them my money. I'm done after I just keep seeing this Bayverse stuff. And I think they're heading toward that. Bumblebee's a Camaro again. He has no voice. They're going to head toward the Bayverse. They're going to stick these movies into the Bayverse eventually here, I think. They're taking place as prequels right now. But they're going to line up with the 2007 movie eventually. You just watch. So... Before I start getting everyone so mad at me that they just want to scream at me in the comment section like they do on any video that they disagree with nowadays because you have to check the whole internet to see if everyone has the same opinion as you before you can talk nowadays because censorship, you know, is such a horrible... I mean, you have to be censored because you have a different opinion. Um, I'm not a robot, so I'm not a drone, so I don't have a hive mind like the internet thinks it should have. So... I'm a free thinker, and this is what I think. This is my opinion. So if you don't like it, you don't have to watch. That's all. It's simple. So now that I've said all that, um, if you like <laughs> what I've said and you want to give comments or whatever and say what you... I'd like to hear some positive comments. That'd be great. Um, but if you like anything I talked about here with this movie, this animated Netflix uh Cybertron movie of, I imagine, the classic movie verse that they're using for the Bumblebee movie and everything. Um, just leave comments in the comment section below and like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.